What's up dudes and dudes in the internet, my name is Seth and today we're going to be starting a series of Horizon Zero Dawn. I will openly admit that I know nothing about this game. I purposefully have done so. Uh, I've pretty much only seen like old E3 footage and I mean pretty much what do I tell you? It's a very beautiful game to say the least uh, where society kind of ended up getting to this point where machines were way too technolo technologically advanced that we had to kind of resort back to a tribal way of living and there was actually a very lengthy intro cut scene about like five or six minutes that I did skip because otherwise Yawn, boar. Uh, the story actually seems pretty darn cool. Uh, it was kind of showing, I guess, our character as a baby and the father that was raising us kind of gave little hints at the lore and kind of what's going on with the higher society and everything like that, uh, but not really enough that I would warrant us to actually check it out. You can check it out if you uh, grab the game for yourself, but otherwise, let's just load into normal mode. Here is us growing up. Six years later. Man, this game is beautiful. Like, seriously. Oh, delicious blueberries. Eat them all, young one. Can I have some blueberries, too? Oh, she's giving them. Okay. Oh, mm hmm. That's a lot of berries. <laughs> okay. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little lost? Now go and see if you can find some more. Hmm? See? All the tribal stuff. Gathering and... Hunting? I'm sure we're gonna be a machine hunter. Oh, that's Kevin, right. Come with me. So our character was raised by she someone who was an outcast. That's why they're kind of uh, staying away from us. That was pretty much the big relevancy of the intro cutscene. Come on. <laughs> Can I? Oh, delicious. Run, you little troll, run! <laughs> okay. Whoa! What's happening, dude? <laughs> that was quite a tumble there, you little freak. Uh. Down here! Rost! Who? Rost. Who's Rost? Is that her father? He won't hear me. Man, we're shiny. Oh, the game! Oh, it's beautiful! Look at this, seriously. I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> Let, let's just go this way. Oh, bats and Batman! Okay. I am also having to get used to, like, our characters kind of controlling a little bit strangely. Can we, can we? There. Yes, toggle, crouch, okay. Ooh. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Okay. That sounds cool. The metal world and some of the old places, like that's the thing. Never go places like this. Then you better just turn around. Oh, whoops. Oh, dude, this is like so cool. Like, I'm really excited to see where the story ends up actually developing. I've been hearing that this game's uh, pretty insanely story driven. And Batman again! And I'm wondering whether or not it's gonna end up being like, is this gonna be Journey to the West type of thing, or is it gonna end up being its own thing? <gasps> Something's in the light. What? Oh. Hello. I'm already like very intrigued because this is like old technology, but it's like. Is, is this what's going to end up happening with our character? Where we're going to be kind of in tune with the robots a little more or something? I, I'm just speculating. I know nothing about this game. Yeah! No! It's beautiful! Embrace the power. Come on, put it on! Yeah! Lights. Everywhere. Well, then we don't really see it. it's everywhere, but okay. Oh, we can scan things. Toggle focus with th uh, mouse button three. Same thing. Is this all things that we can interact with? Is that the point? Oh, it's like old technologies. I see. So it's like, aha, so we can use it to actually like scan up ahead and see a uh, bunker door and we can... Oh, okay, so we're gonna probably use this vision to kind of scan the... Uh, Creatures, right? Maybe or something? The video effects help. actually looks pretty cool. Maybe the device I found can help. Uh, secure mechanism stand. Blah, 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 blah. That sounds about right. I'm a YouTuber, so I don't read like anything. Okay, yep, we are supposed to go over here. We didn't even need to scan anything. 
We just go over here without question. What the? Turn the hollow, it turn it clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay. Uh, yup. I mean, I don't really know what I just did, but I pressed it enough times that it did something, so whatever. Oh man, that water looks so beautiful. I just want to get out to the world, dude. But I do, like, I, I love when open world games do this stuff, I will admit. When they have, like, a big intro section, and it's always, like, a cave. So that's a bit of, uh, like, a big breath of fresh air when you actually get to go out into the big open world area. Because that's the whole thing, is this game is definitely gonna be open world, right? Ooh, we scanned the body. What? <laughs> that was like really, really sad. Like, really sad. Uh, I think our character is a little bit of a loser. <laughs> I know, I know that even though it was a joke, that was like really, really mean. But don't worry, it's a digital character written uh, by grown ups. What the? Oh no, data logs? Ugh. I don't like data logs. I'll scan these and maybe read them or listen to them later. Not. Ooh, our papa me. is calling they us. Papa. El papa. I'm, I'm down here, dude. Help. Oh, I. Mother be praised. Oh. Uh. That's El Papa. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. No. What is that? It's nothing. Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. no. Give it to me. No, run. This guy's like so frustrated, dude. Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you need to know how to survive in the wild. Okay. Come, Aloy. I mean, that's kind of a very strange transition, but I'm down. We'll learn to hunt. Yes, please. That's what I wanted to do the entire time instead of wandering in the weird freaky cave of death. So I'm guessing this is like us older? No, it isn't. It's us messing with holograms. Aha. And according to him and everybody else, that girl's insane. Oops. What do they mean? Take Scan the bow. The bow. <laughs> and enough muttering to that plaything. Okay, I mean, this future device is gonna make me like super duper strong and cool, but whatever. I'll follow you around with your weird stick. Need to stay close and do as I say. Okay, it's beautiful. Let me do whatever. I don't care. It's called South Rush. Oh. Gather its berries in your pouch. I don't really care about the berries, dude. This is like the most beautiful game I've ever seen. Okay, anyways. Yum. Good. Delicious. Now eat the berries. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they may taste bitter, but they could save your life. I this just want to go out and do stuff, dude. This is like so beautiful. We're probably not even gonna get to go out and explore the in the first episode. Excuse me. That's enough. I'm going without you. Oh, we have to follow him. Was he talking? I'm sorry. I keep interrupting him. I mean, it's not like I care. His character's probably gonna die. All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Okay, Papa. I will do as you ask, and I will kill everything. Aloy, such machines are called watchers. Okay. If you to avoid their gaze, if you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen closely and do as I do. Stay still. Now these guys oddly remind me of Ninja Turtles, but okay. Is this like Metal Gear? So staying in tall grass is what we're supposed to do when we're sneaking away from these freaks, huh? Shh! Don't let the crazy robotic dinosaurs see us. I actually like this because it's kind of uh, like Splinter Cell, and I grew up with those games. Wait for what? Why are we wandering around? Hey! Hey! Get out of here, you big old idiot! No, seriously, go away. You're beautiful, though. Still pretty cool, though. I didn't know there was going to be any stealth mechanics in this game. You know what? I don't care what you're trying to show me. I want to look at this. What? Stealth symbol shows how visible you are. Okay, so that's pretty much the same as, like, any uh, Elder Scrolls, I guess. Okay. Oh, man, this world. 
Yes. That's Gamby. Us soon. Ignore him. We are outcasts, and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. Ah, uh, okay. Come now. Now I'm starting to realize why our character's such a loser. We gotta get away from this guy post haste. Like seriously, he is lower than dirt. <laughs> Not really. I love you, El Papa. Keep me safe. Oh, what is going on over there? There's blue magic and they're riding weird robo horses. There. See them? Call I mean, of course I see them, dude. They're beautiful. Wait, there's not a tribe over there. That's just robo horses ah, in general. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you scared them away instead of letting us ride them, but whatever. Why did you chase them off? Yeah. <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you. The eyeball icon marks around the eye show how much noise you're making or something. Oh, we can sprint. <laughs> Oh man, this character looks so adorable when she's running! <laughs> like, seriously! <laughs> oh man, these characters actually look oddly realistic. This is scaring me. It's time to throw some rocks. I'm actually liking these gameplay mechanics. That's pretty darn cool, dude. What the? Alright, that was a weird technical hiccup there. Uh, let me see. Do I throw it down there? Ah! <sighs> Did you hear the little rock, dude? The, the distraction rock? That's what they actually call it? What the? I mean, I thought you were gonna like knock the uh... Harvest the I thought it was gonna like make, make them arrows. stampede into this mech. Hold Y to harvest the kill. Yeah, take all. This game seems like it's surprisingly uh, deeper than I thought, a little bit more... Well, I wouldn't say survival, but it's more survival than I thought for sure. All right, we actually craft stuff. I'm honestly surprised, but that's pretty cool. I mean, hopefully we'll have enough time to actually get through this tutorial, but whew, it's pretty lengthy so far. Don't worry. They don't know where I am. There are spots where it is vulnerable. Can you guess another? I mean, I can with my weird technology thing. Dun, 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 dun. Strider, body, R2 to tag. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. We can actually like tag all the targets in the distance and stuff. Uh, also, its weak point seems to be its weird butt. Roll out of the way. Okay, I'm down for that. Uh, yeah, die. What? What? How do I roll? How do I roll? How do I? How doth I roll? How? I mean, I'm trying. You're 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 giving me a little too much to credit. Oh, we got him. Yes, I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. What items did he have? Metal shards and sparkers. Quick. So that's pretty cool. I, I think anyways, as we shot the canister off, we actually got like a different uh, special item. So maybe maybe you aim for like special weak spots so that you can, can end up getting different supplies. Not exactly sure. Yeah, I see. So there is that noise meter up at the eye in the top middle because uh, you can see it right now. It's fully flared out because we're Sprinting, right? <laughs> so I'm guessing this is probably gonna be like the big end of the tutorial. It's gonna be some type of a mini uh, boss fight or something like that, right? Oh man, I just want to go out and explore this beautiful world, please. Ooh. Oh. So are the horse things evil too? I thought they startled easy. Shouldn't they run away? Dude, seriously, like, get over yourself, okay? Yes! Now you stole my bow, thanks! So we're gonna have to sneak through this. Look at him. What a coward. What a coward. <laughs> seriously, dude. Yes! I'm glad that we're this brave kid and not that wimp hiding on the cliff. Okay, uh, go into super secret ninja focus. <gasps> Uh, all right. Um, highlight track. Okay. I see. Can we only highlight one at a time? Uh, I guess that's the point, is we can highlight one at a time. I'm getting greedy. I don't care. I wanted to sneak. All right. Good. Now we can get some sticks. Oh, yes. I, oh, my. What's his pathway? That's pretty cool, dude. I like that. 
I mean, we gotta sneak over to this freak, but he's gonna come into our direction and stand here for like five years, isn't he? Shh. You hear nothing, stupid robot. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he goes over there like a freak, and I guess the point is, as he goes over there, yep, we sneak over here. Uh, that one? Yeah, I think we're legit supposed to sneak all the way over there, but that stupid robot is being an absolute jerk. Okay, I'm just gonna risk it to get the biscuit, all right? Because I don't know if these other horsey bots on our left are going to be able to see us. I don't know how much noise we can technically end up making either, but I don't really want to risk, uh... Well, we could have done it. Yeah, we would have been okay. But that's okay, because at least they're making this area considerably easy. Because this dude's going to go over there and he's going to stare like an idiot for five years, right? Please don't turn around. No, 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 you don't see me. I am absolutely invisible. Hello! I'm your friend. Dude, it's okay. What? Shh. We're all good, brah. Follow me out of here. Let's go. Don't worry, I know how to avoid the dinos. Sneak into the bushes and expertly get away. All right. I'm guessing that, yeah. So this, uh, yeah, now it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Okay, so he's gonna go up over there, but he's also gonna turn around. Does he stop for a minute? Yeah, he does. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, no, get over here, dude. Get over here, shh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, and it just triggered a cutscene right away too, and it's a lot brighter than it was two seconds ago, but okay. I won. Are you proud of me, lay papa? Give me my child's bow. It is no plaything. Yes, trust. He's not a loser anymore. He's cool and I look up to him. Whoop! Oh, mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. Boy! I just wanted- Boy! Seal your lips! <laughs> it's a weird expression. It's pretty cool, though. Like, I'm- I'm really into the, like, the lore that they got going on. What the? Completed main quest. Lessons of the Wild. Even she's saying seal your lips over and over because of how funny it is. Whoa, is that a giant? Uh! Oh no, it's Damien. Dodge it! Oh, yeah, or that. That's better. No. No. What the? Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. Um, how do you express yourself? Choose a fist to confront it directly. Choose brain power to use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. And the other one for something else, some type of compassion. Let's drop the rock. It's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. Grab the other one, though. Stop. Oh. We have a friend now. <laughs> Don't worry. Just rub the weird tasting berries on it. Here. Hold still. Or a rock. Why am I an out? So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. It probably is. How? Why is he panicking? It would take years of training. <laughs> I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Whatever it takes. I mean, that's was a pretty committed kid. Either way, still very, very cool to say the least. I see, now we're gonna get a crazy training montage of her actually growing up. This is more like a movie than a game. I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> uh, but whenever this cutscene's done, that's probably all the time we're gonna have for today. A little bit of a longer episode than I expected, but I did want to actually get the tutorial and all this beginning stuff done, like, in one sitting in one episode, rather than actually having like two or three episodes potentially. No! Of the tutorial section, because even though it's like really cool and stuff, it's more about introducing the area and introducing the characters and uh, I guess the different gameplay mechanics. Very surprised so far as to how this game is uh, going to end up turning out. You know, I'm, I'm glad that I stayed away from all the hype and stuff. I want to actually get some of this training done, though, dude. 
Unless they somehow made our controls a lot easier or something, because otherwise we're supposed to like be a platform monster now, and it's like we're I don't know how. I don't have any controls. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Okay, that was a sweet transition. I was wondering if she was gonna transform while jumping in the air. That would have been funny. Nice animations though, geez. This really reminds me of Uncharted. <gasps> no, I need to get experience doing that, dude. No, me. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do that either, dude. I like how all the stealthing is like a bust. It's like, who cares? You can kill everything now. This is much more exciting. You're, you're done. You've done it. Yes, mother, I have. Either way, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, we've gone way over time, actually. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Hope you enjoy the new series. Sign on and stay epic.